lost. I got you, bro. Let me save him. Shit, I have to look at a map. He's dead. I'm right here. I hear you. Today's stream is sponsored by Panasonic Gaming. I am wearing their Sound Slayer. These are their unique spatial audio headphone speakers that are really nice, very lightweight, light as a feather, and you cannot, like, it does not hurt your shoulders or your neck or anything. It's very comfortable. It looks really stiff, but like the neck part is very, is very flexible. So it can really, like if you're wearing something, it can easily go around your clothes, around whatever hairstyle you may have and whatnot. They have four speakers. So really you can get like a whole surround sound movie esque audio experience when you're gaming especially to all my rpg players one thing i really value in rpgs is being able to be immersed by the gorgeous soundtrack and this immersive speaker will deliver for sure um they have rpg mode fps mode as you know i play valorant there's a lot of fps games out there and audio is a very crucial thing to give you a competitive edge to make sure you hear your opponents and whatnot and these do exactly that they have music mode they have movie mode or cinema mode technically and they have stereo mode just for anything else whether you're browsing the internet they have everything for you so if you guys would like to check out the link be sure to do exclamation point panasonic and thank to Panasonic for sponsoring the stream. Okay, let's get started. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout station in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. Oh my god, that sounds so fun. I want to live in an RV. Slow RV. Ooh, am I on the right side? <laughs> I remember there's a diner passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. How am I supposed to read? Is this not, this is not illegal? I can't be reading and, and, and texting and driving. Hey, the diner! Pull up. Real dumb, real stupid. That's how I like what up in the pictures and the movies. It sounds I didn't think it would let me do that. Oh, we're at a diner. Huh? Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. What are these options? What you mean meatball sub with chicken nuggets? You're not full of the meatball sub? Are you sure you need those chicken nuggets? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I listen to a cheeseburger. I have an old American way. Hey, at least we know that nobody can be in our RV because we have a pretty good close-up of it. Hey, it's not getting robbed. I'm feeling pretty good. I really had to pee. Uh-oh. Wait, are we not peeing? I'm crouched on the toilet. Where am I supposed to pee? In the bucket? Oh, here we go. <gasps> I'm literally missing! It's on the floor. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. This establishment. Oh, I can aim it? Oh, I can aim it. Wait, apparently I can move it. I didn't know I could move my pee stream. Did you see that? I could move it around. It's the recoil? Sorry, guys. I don't know the vandal spray pattern yet. Consuming, eating the Krabby Patty. Mmm, floating fries. Here's the check. Your total is 6-6. Six, six. Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. I Hopefully that was like the only time I needed my money. <gasps> Why do we do that? I drove past the trail first. Why do we do that? Do not enter, I'm entering. I drove my RV onto the foot trail. Sorry. Oh. Oh, what is that? <gasps> the missing kids. Brittany Spheres. Huge Jasmine. Sunita Will. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, so we're gonna treat the kids like that. That's fed up. <laughs> Holy moly, you scared me. I thought you were one of them. <sighs> you scared me. Hey, Lord, have mercy. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Bro, why would he do that? All right, pal. You're good to go. You're staffed at the Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Takes the keys. Let me open the trail gate for you. <laughs> Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Oh no, no. I need a flashlight. You better be careful. Take this. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. 
Now for your purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clogged in safely. If need be, you could reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Hey, I was just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or north of your tower. <laughs> I thought he got mad at me. <laughs> Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. Oh, I have to go on foot from here. Oh, no. No, dude. I did read that, but I thought he, for some reason, I thought he was opening the gate for the RV. I, I, I just don't. I left my back. God damn it. God damn it. All right, Britney Spears, we're gonna get you out. And huge jazz, man. It was a long hike, and it was starting to get cold now. Tower 11! So do people sleep in those towers? Anyone know? I don't know like what's it, what it's like being a park ranger. It's isolated. Oh, that sounds kind of fun, though. Not another jump scare. Oh, no. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Anybody in here? cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. <gasps> ah, no! I don't like that. I don't like that you can do that. That's not good. That's never good. There's no locks on this door? Dude, being a park ranger is not it. Mm -mm. And I would also have a, I would also recommend a ring light, because so that I know if anyone's coming up the stairs, I get a notification before they be already at the top of the stairs. You know what I mean? Static. Hey, I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. I saw your light turn on. I thought I was going to be alone out here. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Storm? Okay, but I need wood, right? So does that mean I have to go downstairs to get wood? I think I know the answer, guys. Anybody out here? Anybody? Anybody want to show themselves? Anybody? Okay, cool. Please, God, help me. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? I did not. Oh, this thing. 44.3. I wasn't sure if I had put in the right weather condition. Clear? You have a good night, you guy. Thank you, Connor Hawkins. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, over and out. Ugh, I always wanted to say that. 3.26 a.m. We are dying. Oh, he has to pee. No, like, I'm thinking, I'm like, can I just pee from up here, like, low key? Oh, I can pee up here, right here. Space to pee. Wow. <laughs> Who is that? There's somebody up there. I mean, down there. Look, look, look. To my left. Like, look at, like, it's like 8 o'clock. You're my 8 o'clock-ish. Uh-uh. Put that down. Put that down. There was a dude that walked out of the tree. Well, I'm gonna be a forest ranger. Fuck it. This is beautiful. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. The smoke was white. I need you to indicative confirm. of a campfire. Yeah, I see it. be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Am I checking it out? Stay safe out there. I'm gonna somehow drop my bear spray when I need it, by the way. Don't click your G key. That's it. Just don't click your G key. All you gotta do is this. Oh no. S Stop. There's whistling from over there. I'm practicing my spring. Sir, step back, please. Did I hear rustling in the woods? All right, let's go back to the tower. I had a report to Connor about the vacant campsite. It wasn't vacant. Somebody was whistling. Yeah, these come down at night, baby. These come down at night. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Uh, uh, uh. Why is this one doesn't? Why this one doesn't have one? I have to tell Connor. Hey, Connor, do you copy? Clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first. What's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? This is the third time this month alone. 
mention scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No what does that have? Since. What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. I hope you don't believe those rumors. Oh, absolutely right. not. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I was too hungry to. Oh, my bad. What should we have today? Um, where's the refrigerator? Is this the fridge? Oh, dang. We need uncooked pasta, marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella, diced tomatoes. Wait, is this all in here? Ain't no way. Oh, we got pepperoni. Mozzarella? Is there- do we need meat in here? Nope. Amazing. And now, uncooked pasta... Nice tomatoes. Boom! Okay, we're done. Place all ingredients in the casserole. Bake for 420. Hey, And then... <laughs> and then cookie. I kept checking the oven, but it was still cooking. You know what else we should check out? The new there Panasonic guy. sound there. Mmm. This guy loves his, like, pasta. He likes pasta. A whole dish to himself is crazy. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. You, bro let me save him Shit, i have to look at a map he's dead Shit, what did he say he said he we're tower is this tower 11 right here we're tower 11 no clue oh god well he's dead eeny meeny miny mo catch a tiger by the toe if he hollers let him go eeny meeny miny mo okay he has to go right oh yeah there's a small creek okay actually let's let's try let's try to save him he's at a he's at the he's probably at this creek right and he's going west because he came from east do you remember where the flare came from? No. Was it over here? He's so done. He's cooked. This guy is cooked. Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still- Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so- Just shut the f*** up and let me focus. I'm thinking he goes left. So this is the creek, right? So then he walked... I'm at a trail intersection. We're going left trail. I knew it. I thought it looked familiar. I knew it. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I'm right here! I hear you! Oh. I hear your whistles. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. We killed him! Dude, who knew competence could save lives? No, the right answer is left, but like he, we, because we're right, he dies. I'm dead. No, no. You're freaking me out. Somebody is knocking at my door. Ah! Oh. <laughs> hey, he would have died if he was a bad guy. He would have died if he was a bad guy. Holy moly. <laughs> What took you so long in there? Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like it's going to pass out if I keep holding this one more second. What were you doing in there last night? Wait, what? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And 
there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. This guy's weird as f Hey, you know what time it is? It's time to lock up for the night. It's time to lock up for the night. Did the hiker die? Yes. Anyways, well that guy's dead. Where's the pepper spray? The pepper spray needs to stay next to my bed. Yep, right there. Wrong guy all the time. You copy. Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. Damn it. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. No, let him. He's just trying to camp. It it's 2 30 in the morning. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. I don't have it in me to deal with this tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Yes, I thought we established that. Time, take your photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Useless. What am I looking at? Oh, smoke. Is that the smoke? Do you guys see that or am I tripping? I didn't know what to make of it. <gasps> I can take a picture here. <gasps> Ooh! <gasps> Kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin out of breath. I radioed in the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out there, Mitch answered. 
Oh my fucking god. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever stepped my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Well, good thing I do not like camping. I, I'm city girl. Like, you know what I mean? You do not have to worry about me. Wait, couldn't I have pepper sprayed that dude low-key? Yeah.